Da, 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 da. Da, da, da. Anyways, da, wow, those Edmonds' horses got done quick, 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 and we don't want to have a speed upgrade on our hands right now. We did success rate for everything. Anyways, release the Edmonds' horses, and because, like, I guess, which one is this? Ooh, this must have been the rainforest or the wetland or something like that. It has that blue bit on its face. Remember, it kind of looks like someone just spilled a paint can on its head. <laughs> the Edmontosaurus, a little roar. There we go, number one is out, and of course eight, oh! Even a full plate has room for a little more, don't you think? So why not give this new contract a once-over, then? Uh, sure, I guess, why not? Build, connect, and power an advanced storm defense station. Oh, we just unlocked that, so might as well, right? Anyways, except, I don't know where we'll put it, maybe like right here next to these Hammonds or something like that, I don't know, uh, we'll figure it out later. Anyways, release this one. Ba-boom. I guess I could make them across the street as well. Like, what's that? There's nothing in here, so I guess I could I guess I'll do that for a street. The Amimus. Let's see. So we need them only at a rating of 12, which is really, really low. It's probably baseline. Baseline is probably fine, right? So if I go over here to shoot the Amimus, and then reset genes, their baseline rating is uh, 9. So I only have to do, like, a thing, and we're good to go, right? Uh, that's up to 11 right there with that rapid metabolism. And once again, at 11. Ba-boom. And there you go. So its viability is down to 49. I can negate that with basically just one. Uh, what do you call it? Jeez, I always I always forget the name of these things. Success rate for one of the things. I guess I can just kind of get rid of that and just get a hatchery capacity temporarily. And if uh, if if any failures happen, it's not, it's not going to be that big of a deal. I'm not going to be too upset. And then modify gene. Oh yeah. We probably could have done a... Uh, oh, sheesh, Rainforest. A lot of skins for these Shrillium Amuses, you guys. Golly. But we're going to need to do two whole sets from this one Hammond here, because we could do uh, four critters at a time. So we can kind of eat through that eight number. Uh, ah, do a different skin for that one. I, I just did the same skin twice. We're going to get definitely get to that eight number very, very quickly here. So that's going to be Woodland there. Incubation failed, just like I predicted would happen, so let's discard that. Unfortunately, I guess uh, that'd be kind of cool if they give you an option to redo, I guess you could say, some rainforest pattern there. And we're probably going to have more failures because I think, uh, let's see. Yeah, it's at 44% right now. It's a uh, viability, whatever, only goes to 84 after that. So, yeah, what are you going to do? There's always going to be that slim little chance anything happens, which I mean, like 16%. It's not even that slim, I guess you could say. It's kind of decent, but either way, four of them are on the way, one of them already released. <laughs> so there you go, get that one out. Yeah, these guys get finished like so, I can fast this insane. Uh, I, I assume with the Mad Monsters of Horses, because those got Yeah, another one just got finished, noish. And that one's almost done there too, sheesh. But the Edmontosaurus Horses we made at the other herbivore area are probably going to be done here in just a moment. So we're going to be able to make them. And boom, contract complete. Man, we're making so many critters, golly. We're only as strong as our weakest link. And that can't be you. Understand? Get your rep up by taking a contract. Do something. Yeah, um... Sabotage risk is low, that's good, but... I only now have room for another contract for you there. So, uh, get rid of that. There you go, now we can get another contract for security. We don't always get offers like this. Consider it carefully. Reach at least $330,000 of income per minute from guest facilities. Facilities, not fac facilities. <laughs> Remember, we're getting like 70-something thousand from that one bar, so I can only assume the bars are accounting. Both of them combined are probably close to at least half of that, so right now we're at 317. Yeah, we're going to have that 330. No problem, especially when we add more dinos, right? But anyway, speaking of dinos, we need to knock out these... Di or, almost called them Deinonychuses, but uh, Shrew the Amimuses, we need to knock them out. Thankfully, they're all like right next to each other, so there you go. And let's basically do the same thing and make four more of these cheese. <laughs> make so many of these shrew the amimuses, you guys. Uh, we have a lot of... There we go. Uh, might as well make them... I'm, I'm gonna ignore the... The, what do you call it? The default skin. I'm just gonna make more rainforest and whatever else. Uh, yeah, that one immediately failed. Okay, whatever. <laughs> uh, and, well, let's just make it again, Tundra. There we go. Incubate that bad boy. And because these are going so heck and fast, it doesn't even really matter if they fail. I can just basically make it, like, immediately again, right? <laughs> Let's do Woodland here. And incubate that bad boy. And I think this should be the last one right here. What are we going to do for the last one? Uh, Woodland, Savannah. I guess we could do Savannah. Sure, why not? There you go. 
All right, incubate that bad boy. All right, let's go check up on the... That contract is accomplished because of you. Yep. Who else would get it accomplished, huh? Not you, George Lam... Yes, Lambert. Jeez. <laughs> I thought I was saying the wrong name for a second, but I got it completely right. Less than a minute until I could do with the uh, next contract. So, anyways, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to try my best to make sure we don't get any sabotage and stuff. Wow, loyalty bonus from Science Division is $281,000 per minute. That is insane in the membrane, you guys. Golly. Yep, real quick, I just wanted to check if the Edmontus horses over here were ready to go. And they are, so let's get ACU. Once they're done with all those Shrewdium Iamses over there to take care of that Edmontosaurus, right? And then after me, yeah, let's wait until after the... And then move these guys over here. Let's wait until after we're done with the Entertainment Division mission to figure out what we're going to make to replace the Stegos. Because right now, we've got a lot of stuff on our plate, and I don't want to get distracted and have something, like, go wrong or anything like that, you know? So, for the time being, it seems like we have a, uh... I don't know where, I, I feel like they might have given up on the fourth shrew, the Omimus over here, because it went into trees or something like that. I'm trying to see, I'm like, I don't see any more of them. Uh, we have three helicopters here. It might be inside of a tree or something. Oh wait, there it is right there. Wait, hold on. Oh, it's a shadow. Okay, jeez, that was confuser. <laughs> like, what in the world was that? Anyways, uh, I guess we can check the, not the control room, but the map. Let's go to Dinosaurs. Shrew the Amimus. Knocked out, knocked out. Let's go down to S for Shrew the Amimus. Yeah, we have to, whoa, whoa, hold on. Shrew the Amimus, where is that one at? Oh, it's right there? Oh, yeah, they did knock it out, but it'd be, I guess because it's in some trees, I can't even see it. Oh, there we go, we got it, we got it. <laughs> Man, couldn't even see that, but there we go, that's number four down. And we probably had some uh, casualties in the incubation in the uh, Hammond incubation process, I guess you could tell. Oh wow, all of them got successful. Nice, successful releases for all of them, or successful incubations. And now we can release all of them. So there you go. That's going to be all eight uh, Shrewdia Mimuses right there. Should be able to knock out the new Edmontosaurus, which is uh, that's a Staraga. Wait, did I release the other Edmontosaurus already? I did. Where did it go? Uh, let's go back to the map. Let's go to dinosaurs. Let's go to E for Red Montezaurus. Uh, let's see. No. That one's being picked up. Okay, so, so there it is right there. Right. Yes, that is it. Right there. Uh, yes. Thankfully, it's like right there, so. Uh, it's probably going to get in the trees, and I'm going to forget about it. So let me just. Let me just continue following it. See if it does get knocked down. I should. Be able to immediately select it before it gets into any trees, and I, I completely lose it, and I don't know where it is, like that shrew the Amimus just moments ago, so... Let's wait until the ACU knocks out this, uh, Edmontosaurus. And he's knocked out. Alright, let's get him. Boom! So this should be the last Edmontosaurus. Now we have a bunch of shrew the Amimus getting released over here. <laughs> yeah, you're not done quite yet there, ACU. You need to come back over here. There you go. Oh, and by the way, after we, uh, after we do this contract, uh, we can do the, you know, Stego replacement meme, and then... After that, we can do the Jeep thing, trying to get the blue Jeep unlocked, right? Man, look at all the critters over here, though. How are they doing on... But yeah, completely fine on population, completely fine on social. How about Edmontus Wars? How are they doing? Oh, there it is. Yeah, completely fine on population, completely fine with social, so I think we're good. Oh yeah, what about the... Oh yeah, that was the Crithosaurus, wasn't it? No, that's the Edmontus Wars. What about the Crithosaurus? Where's the, uh... I'm trying to look around where the... Crithosaurus... Because remember, we had to make four Crithosaurus high. <laughs> This contract looks interesting. To me, anyway. What do you think? I think it looks easy peasy, no problemo. Use the Ranger team's camera to take a photo worth at least 5,000. That is nothing. I could take a picture of an uh, Indominus Rex and get like 50k or something like that, right? I forget what the specific numbers were, but still, like, that's a lot of money. Anyways, I guess if we just go to drive this minus. Oh, jeez, it's raining. You can even hear, like, the sound of uh, rain hitting the windshield of the Jeep, which is crazy. Anyways, I guess if we could take a picture of like an Allosaurus or something like that real quick. Oh, by the way, yeah, hold on. Wow, wow, wow. Once again, I'm, pro I'm probably getting comments about it. <laughs> I forgot the main gates. I guess because it was those, those two enclosures are just so big. Oh yeah, it is raining right now, so things do need to be repaired. What, need, what is it, the gate or something? What is it? Oh wow, that gate needs to be repaired. Wow, I wonder if someone was trying to break out right there. Wow. Alright, well... I need to remember where the gate was over here. Jeez, we're going flying. I'm going to unlock the red, uh, the 1993 Jeep all over again, aren't I? If I keep on doing that, gee. <laughs> Alright, let's get in here. There we go. 
might have noticed I made this area completely enclosed in electric concrete instead of just, you know, two or three sides. That way, in case I do have to make more herbivores or whatever else, they'll be nice and protected from allosaurus and stuff. So anyway, speaking of such, let's go see if we can find this allosaurus over here. Take a picture of it. I guess we could resupply its thing real quick as well. It looks like it's right there. It's asleep. So, sleeping allosaurus. Boom. Not the best composition with the Jeep and stuff, but it's still over 5,000, so we got it, you guys. Boom! I'm going to get a little, uh... Nice photo! Oh, thanks! You're not talking about money or anything like that? Like, oh, I can only think about all the money this is going to bring us. <laughs> I guess not. <laughs> oh, I wonder, what, I wonder what happened if I took a picture of the gyro station. Or the gyro sphere. Well, you make me look better. I won't forget that. Are those twins? They really look like the same person, jeez. I'm not sure how that'll turn out. <laughs> no dinosaurs found, okay, whatever. Exit. What oh, nah, I guess I could, yeah. Drive vehicle. Take a picture of the Dil Dilophosaurus. Or, uh, uh Deinonychus. $5,000 right there. I guess I could have taken a picture of a Deinonychus and <laughs> still would have gotten that mission out of the way, but whatever, we got it done. Let's do it. let's get another security thing, because our, our science is getting, we're getting a $500,000 uh, loyalty bonus from the science division. Our, our reputation there is just crazy right now, you guys. George Lambert. There's a new contract that I want you to consider. Alright, well this one seems easy enough. Maintain a total guest count of at least 6,200 for four continuous minutes. I didn't even know we're that high. I think we're like 4,000, 5,000 last time I checked, but what are we at right now? We're at, uh, 60, well, okay, so we haven't even hit 6,200 just yet, but we will once we make more critters, right? But anyways, where are, I think we left off with the shrew okay yeah shrew the says we're just getting knocked out i don't think we i don't think we moved them all right or maybe that one was just a straggler that i forgot to get uh let's go back to the map check that out. oh yeah I, I didn't move them yet yeah some of them are still over here so let's get these ones move them all over there we go and then there's one hidden in that tree i saw that just a second ago so there we go so we should have all three of them or all four of them on their way so yep that should be it. That should be it for the entertainment division mission. Or at least this part of it. I don't know if they're going to try and like artificially agitate these critters. You know, for Dr. Wu's uh, research, of course, like they always do. Which would make sense considering we're doing, we're doing Secrets of Dr. Wu, uh, like, story stuff right now. But for right now, basically just have to wait, play the waiting game on those getting moved. I guess we could try and get the... Uh, let's go to Ranger Team 4, Drive Vehicle. I'm like, it is slick outside, too. It's raining, so let's see. Handbrake is space. Let's see if I can do that. Uh, here's a pretty straight road, so I should be able to gain some good speed. And do some really good slipping and sliding and turning and drifting and stuff. And... Oh! There we go. That was a pretty good... Oh, whoa! I got unlocked immediately. Holy heck. What does that say? Achievement unlocked, except... You never... Oh, I couldn't read that. The text was so small. I don't even know if it came up in the recording or not, but there you go, you guys. We got it. Blue unlocked. Man, that was so like, easy. I'm kind of upset I didn't unlock that earlier on, but whoa. Holy jeez. <laughs> Slow down there. All right, well, this is the one that I wanted to make blue, so we could have Ranger, blue Ranger team over here and then a red Ranger team over here. So there you go. Just kind of differentiate the two different uh, like sides of the park that are being covered by the Ranger teams and stuff, you know? But anyways, I guess I, I am kind of upset because remember I did say I wanted to have a Ranger team over here, and then a ranger uh, station over here, and then in the middle of the park we'd have ACU, but eh, ranger station, ranger station right next Delivery to ACU. They're actually really close to each other. I think I could have squeezed one in like right there, but eh, I think we're fine. I, th I, think, I think we should get the job done just fine right now, but anyways, yeah, speaking of rangers and stuff, I did say I uh, forgot about making the gate, so let's make a let's get a, a gate there, and because these are going to be so egg and big, let's get a uh, another. Everything's looking good here. These new dinosaurs are perfect. I think you've reached the moment you can take your efforts to the next level. I want you to introduce a pack of raptors into the enclosure and observe the results. And I want to keep a lid on this, so keep guest casualties to a minimum, would you? Ooh, I knew something was up. I knew something was going to happen, you guys. Wow. We don't need to make them high rated or anything like that. Just three Velociraptors in general. So we could probably do baseline Velociraptors. Oh, jeez. Was it another stick? What is it? What died? Uh, 
Oh, and uh, Dilophs. Oh, okay, so maybe the other Dilophosaurus is going to die here pretty soon, too. Ah, oh, rest in peace. Is that Dilophosaurus completely fine? Uh, or, let's see. Where is it? Okay, I think it's fine on its own. Okay, that's good. Ah, but that kind of sucks. We're losing Dilophosaurus. But hey, we want to replace him with uh, another smaller uh, carnivore, so... Speaking of small carnivores, we're going to need to make three uh, Velociraptors, so... Since we're not going to need a high rating or anything like that, let's just do hatchery capacity right there so we can make three of them at once. And I'm like, I guess we could give them a high rating just because, hey, why not, right? <laughs> but, uh, let's see, Velociraptor, what is their uh, ideal social group? It's two to six. Okay, so three is definitely in that range, so let's see. Uh, yeah, we could reset the gene. Ooh, what is that? Vivid pattern. Oh, we're going to have a vivid pattern Veloc. I don't know if we ever saw that. Remember, I really do love the way Vivid looks and Rainforest, so I can only imagine how I can cool a Vivid of Lost Raptors going to look, you guys. Wow. Anyways, let's just reset the genes, and let's start from square one here. There we go. I guess we could make a whole pack of Vivid ones. So, rapid metabolism there. Tooth hardness here. Skip that. Tooth hardness. Skip that. Rapid metabolism. Skip that. Tooth hardness. Ooh. <laughs> 154 rating right there. We're going to do the same thing three times. One, one two, three, four. Dollars. What's that? Where is that? I don't see how much it costs. Okay, whatever. One, two, three, four, six, three, zero dollars. <laughs> One million, two hundred thirty-four thousand, six hundred thirty dollars. Golly. Well, there we go. We have all three of them on the way right now, you guys. They're all vivid. They're all going to look the same. We've never done that really before. Having a bunch of critters at the same skin and stuff. So hopefully everything's going to be completely fine. And speaking of everything being completely fine, hopefully everything, you know, stays completely fine, and we don't have to worry about, uh, I guess I'll put this gate right here, right next to the ranger thing, and we don't have to worry about, uh, any, uh, escapes or anything like that, you know, so, let's put, uh, gates on both ends, just in case, you know, rangers are over here doing something, and they're, you know, it's just going to be an easier way of them, for them to get into the enclosures and stuff, so there we go, do the same thing right, yeah, there we go, so each one has two, two, uh, two gates, same thing on this one, this one has two gates, just in case, I guess if we do the same thing on this, just because why not, right? Uh, it's obstructed, I think, because of the gyro. Yeah, the gyro thing is in the way, I think. So I guess right now we can just do that. There you go, there's a gate. Just in case. I'm like, we could do the same thing here, too. Like, what's stopping us, right? But then again, right here, this is like right next to the ranger station. But just in case they're all out and about, and I want them to do something, might as well uh, put the gate like right here. Just because, hey, why not? There you go. Pretty good, easy access into there. Same thing here, I think the gate, yep, the gate is there. So I suppose, hey, if rangers are out and about doing something over here, they'll be able to come in through that way. So there we go. All right, I think we're good. I think each one has at least two gates in. This one has a gateway in there, and that one right there. I guess that'd be a little bit easier because this one kind of goes into a Hammond enclosure, you know? So that's good that we have this extra one over here, you know? Uh, I might be able to squeeze another yeah, it's obstructed, I think, by the pylon. Whatever, not that big of a deal. I think the rangers are smart enough to figure out how to get in there on their own, right? And it's kind of get a close-up look of the blue jeep. Honestly, it looks pretty cool. I, I wish the the logo and the text were uh, were white, though, so it you know you could actually see a little bit better. Because, of course, black on blue, it's, it's not very good contrast. You can't really see the logo and the, the letters very well, you know? But whatever, not that big of a deal. Thankfully, we've already got the feeders and stuff. Installed, so I didn't forget about those, fortunately, right? But let's get the Ranger take care of that. There you go, not bad. All right, and I guess if anything, we could have a, uh, because the Rangers are like right there, we could have a, uh, another path in, another gate in, like right here. There you go. Just so we can get in there a little bit quicker because there is a Ranger station, like right there, you know, so there we go. All right, so that one has three enclosure or three gates into there. Uh, for some reason, this. Jeez, what are they doing? Golly! Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Let's go check them on the Velociraptors. They should all be guaranteed, right? Or, uh... My ability's at 28. Yeah, it is guaranteed. Because we have a... Uh, yeah, look at that. Plus 80 right there. Yeah, that's cool. Alright, not bad. So all the Velociraptors are going to be done here in just a moment. And, <laughs> of course, Dr. Wu is going to be studying the behavior of the Velociraptor probably because he wants to, you know, splice some genes, do some, uh, playing God with Velociraptor genes and kind of splicing and dicing those genes into a uh, a new critter, I guess we're going to say, right? So, anyways, only a few more seconds until the first Velocira Velociraptor is done. So, once we release this thing, I'm sure our, our guest count is going to hit that 6200, no problem, right? 
And there we go, no disease diet source detected, and the first Floss Raptor is ready to go. I am very curious, what does this look like with a vivid pattern? And then of course, we're gonna have three of them. Oh, okay. Is that... Hold on. That looks super familiar to me. Okay, well, that one's looking for water. It's lonely, yeah. But that, that Velociraptor looks like one out of a... I know they all look like they're out of a movie, but like it looks like one out of one specifically. Let me comment down below if you guys... Oh, I've got some tip of the tongue syndrome going on right now. <laughs> there you go, the second Velociraptor's out. Hopefully they're not going to be lonely anymore. And of course, the third... It's going to be released in just a moment. I guess the uh, the second one's still technically being released, so it's not done just yet. But uh, yeah, look at that. The guest count is over 6,200. We got that countdown going. It's, uh, it, oh, it's significantly over. It's at 6575. Oh, dead dino already. Wow. Oh, it killed uh, Edmontosaurus. Wow. Whoa. What are you doing? Our new animals are going from star attractions to menu items. <laughs> this was not part of the plan. Uh oh. Hopefully he doesn't figure out uh, that we're actually doing something for Dr. Wu. I'm sure all mission-specific dinosaurs are housed together. Yeah, they're all in the same enclosure. So I don't know why it's saying, hey, oh wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Can I cancel that? I don't know if I can. Oh, wait, the, the thing went away. Wait, where is it? Uh... They didn't pick anything up. Hmm, maybe they don't allow that. Anyways, it's just a counter right now, so we have to wait about uh, four and a half, four and three quarters minutes until the, uh, until the mission is done. But here we go, here's, oh wait, another dinosaur just went down over here. Ooh, okay, so I guess just to make sure that we don't try and, like, protect any Shrewdiomyrises or Edmontosaurus or anything like that, right? So, I don't know, I'm like, it is feasting on some flesh right now. It's content. <laughs> yes, I'm eating some delicious Shrewdiomyrises flesh. Now, does it actually, like, disappear if they eat it too much? Like, because I feel like the transport thing might have eaten the, uh, or might have been like, oh, there's no dino here to pick up, because the hang of the lost rabbit ate it all. It doesn't seem like that's the case. That, that, oh! <laughs> Freaking Thanksgiving over here eating too much Truthiomimus, he just immediately falls asleep. Oh, that's hilarious. Jeez, you guys ever eat too much heckin' turkey or anything, and you immediately just fall Wow, another, uh, thing died. Another shrew the Amaius. Well, there's a lot of critters here for them to do some pickings, right? So, <laughs> oh, it looks like this, uh, shrew the Amaius is about to get, oh, wait. No, that's a, a shrew, that's a, I thought that was a Velociraptor. Oh, wait. Man, I should, I just, I should select the Velociraptors. And then, where is, there it is, Velociraptor. Where are the other Velociraptors at? Oh, that one's still asleep. This one's over here hunting. I'm like, they're all away from each other, basically. Hunting, prowling. Where's the other one at? Oh, they're right now. Okay, these two are right next to each other. And then, of course, that one <laughs> straggler over there just falling asleep, right? Sleeping after that big old shrew, the Amimus meal. Now, three more minutes until the mission is done, but there, there's plenty of critters around here, you guys. We don't have to worry about it at all. Let's get rid of that just for cinematic purposes. Three more minutes. The countdown is at three minutes and counting. I guess I can't I can't switch between critters without that thing and whatever. So there's that one. And that one falls asleep now. <laughs> Go over there with your friends. Go take a nap all together. No need to kill all the other uh Edmontosauruses and shoot the Omavises and whatever else, right? Speaking of such, I'm seeing some running. I guess uh thought those other critters were running for their lives, but Maybe they are. I'm like, the, the Velociraptors aren't really hunting. They're not, not really out and about right now. This one might be ready to pounce. Oh, yep, yep, yep. Pounce. Got him. Yeah, nice one. I actually caught that one on video. <laughs> well, that one looks fantastic. Holy. Man, that guy, that's probably like an aquatory uh, wetland or something like that, right? Bottom line, I couldn't have done it any better. Thanks. Yep. All right, let's get to, uh, oh, two dead, oh, someone, uh, someone got an, oh, yep, right there. Another one, another one down, another one bites the dust, copy strike. <laughs> there you go. Uh, less than two minutes left for the mission. What about the, oh, that one just woke up. They're right next to each other, nice. All right, well, let's go to the third one. There it is right there, still feasting on, there's literally nothing there. 
think the, uh, the transport team either took it up or something, but it's gone. <laughs> Just it's eating nothing right there. <laughs> minute, and, uh, minute and a half right now, I guess. Is there even going to be any... I don't know if there's going to be anything left by the time the countdown... It's probably... We're probably going to fail because there's literally no critters left. <laughs> Watch, that's probably going to happen. I'm like... I think only one Edmontus horse has gone down. We probably still have like three of them. Oh, jeez. True, the Amiams are probably going to go down here in just a moment. Look at that island. I like that island. I'm liking this abstract shape we did with the water and the trees and all that. All the, oh, speaking of Edmontus horses going down, that one might be pounced here in just a moment if he's not careful. Oh, look at that. Lucky. Consider yourself lucky. And of course, there's gyro stations around here. During gyro spheres, everyone's watching it. Oh my god. Okay, let's, let's go. Oh, yep. I just missed one. Someone died. Here's something that you might find interesting. I did. Hmm? When the world construct additional viewing galleries and platforms in order to increase the dinosaur visibility at least 75? I thought it was like 90-something, just... Huh. I don't know, maybe we have to wait around for the, uh, the monorail or something like that, right? Hmm. Anyway, it's Velociraptor. Kinda wanna see which one has the most kills. Let's see, how do I do that again? Dinosaurs killed two. Dinosaurs killed one. Dinosaurs killed two. Okay, so it's tied between the two of these guys. This one has a, uh, combat infamy of plus 16 stars. No one's killed anymore. Is it have oh that one hasn't caught up just yet? Oh, we have a uh, feeder that needs to be resupplied, which is actually kind of a uh, funny considering we have. Uh, oh, whoops, that's the wrong one. We have a uh, increased capacity feeders and stuff nowadays, but they do need to be resupplied eventually, right? So, anyways, these uh, feeders over here need to be resupplied, even though there's literally nothing in there. So, golly, basically a million dollars to resupply those feeders. Sheesh. Uh, resupply those two, just because hey, why not? So there we go. And let's go check up on the, uh, oh, whoa, we finished it. We got it done. Nice. Entertainment mission is complete. $1.75 million. Grassland adaptation 2.0 now available. Okay. That was unexpected. And spectacular. Our guests do really love watching our dinosaurs fight. The modern Coliseum, right? Yep. Colossal entertainment. Yeah, yeah, that works. Just let me in on it next time, yeah? All part of my research. And it boosted your entertainment value. A win all around. And considering how some of the animals fared, I'd say a bruised ego was worth the price, wouldn't you? Truth is, I don't much like you, Dr. Wu, and I'm not alone. But it is hard to argue with your results. Hmm. <laughs> I was thinking just for a second there, you guys, you know how the Tylers are starting, well, one of them died, I guess we can sell the other one. Uh, I guess we could replace, I'd hate to do it though, because, I'm like, we just don't have very many small carnivores anyways, but, replace the Dylos with Velociraptors? That way we have Velociraptors and Shruthiomimus, or, uh, Sukomimus, not Shruthiomimus. <laughs> Need to make sure I get the right one. Now, I'm like, they're kind of, kind of close, uh, critters in their names. But replace the Dilos in that area with the uh, Velociraptors that we just made. I'm like, they are high rated. They have the uh, the combat infamy stuff, so don't want to waste them, you know? So let's go to the map. Unfortunately, Velociraptor. Oh, whoa. I guess that Velociraptor or uh, Allosaurus was like a sleeper. One of the one of these uh, true they might is about to heck and die. Sheesh. All right, so let's get the ACU to take care of. Oh, whoops. I didn't want to. Ah, oh, man, I didn't want to pilot the helicopter. Come on, I don't want to lose the. Uh, uh, where in the world did it? Oh, whoa, that's the wrong. <laughs> that's the wrong. I guess it's one downside of having so many enclosures. You get com completely uh, confused. There you go. Velociraptor right there. Try and find these other ones. Velociraptor and Velociraptor. Okay, there you go. I guess that's unfortunate that you can only have one, uh, have one helicopter at each ACU thing. Because you have to rely on the same helicopter to do the same job over and over again. Unless, you know, unless we build multiple ACUs, which isn't even that big of a deal. We can do that, no problem. But it does make sense because there's only one helipad there. If, if we wanted like three, four, five different ACU uh, helicopters, then I guess I have to build more helipads. <laughs> but over here, I, I, there's like three parking spaces, but yet... Uh, oh, I guess that makes sense. We could have three... Okay, three parking spaces, three... Or I guess three and a half. There's like this little bit right here. <laughs> but three parking spaces, three uh, Ranger Jeeps there. That makes sense. I thought I thought we had way more than that. I guess, yeah, I guess because we have multiple Ranger stations, it feels like we have more. Ranger, uh, things available. Rain, ranger Jeeps available. I, or Rangers, I guess you could say, right? <laughs> Anyways, let's transfer these guys over here. There you go. Let me get ACU to knock out. Did I, I, I feel like I might have already had them knock out. Super Mimus. There it is, the love source. And I'm pretty sure the other one is already dead and gone, so don't need to worry about that, but I think they have already... 
knocked out all the Velociraptors, so that's one of them getting picked up right there. Let's transfer it over. I'm pretty sure... And where did the other one go? I'm not seeing it right off the bat, you guys. I'm going to have to leave the ACU thing, or the map. Let's see where'd it go. Oh, they're both in tree. Oh, yep, there it is right there. I see it. I see him. Wait. Oh, there he is. I was looking at the wrong one. <laughs> all right, so all three Velociraptors are on their way. They shouldn't be terrorizing those herbivores anymore. So there we go. And by the time any Velociraptors get over here, the Dilophosaurus, yep, there it is right there. The Dilophosaurus should be knocked out, and speaking of such, boom, and sell for $51,000. Not bad, it definitely got his job done quite well. Not bad at all. All right, so there we go. We're doing pretty well right now, you guys. Not bad at all. None too shabba do, right? 